Hello there everybody. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I got this wonderful box sent through um, and we're going to see what's inside and I'm going to take a look at it and review it. So what this is, let me just open this up so you can see all the wonderful goodness inside. This is from the Model Exchange and it is the um, command bases. Command bases for Drop Fleet Commander. So all they have is these are to replace the standard um, the standard dials that are on the Drop Fleet Commander bases, which some people I know have been having difficulties with. So that's a two small ones. This is two larger ones for the bigger bases. I'll be getting them out properly in a second. Uh, this is one of the starter upgrades. The um, starter kit, sorry, is the correct term. Uh, which has four small bases in and two big bases should have. Yeah, two big bases and four small bases. Another starter clip. Um, but you can see that the battle, these are the battle group markings. I'll go over those in more detail in a second. And we've got blue here. We have some black ones. You can just about see there. And these are some red ones. So, that's all that done. Do not need that. So let's get one of these kits opened up, shall we? We'll go with the we'll go with the black one to start with. As of all videos, I'm sorry about the formatting and everything. If this is uh, not the best way to do an unboxing, or if you uh, got any comments or criticism, please let us know. Still getting used to doing all this. So here we go. Here is the start to get one trying not to get my hands in the shot too much and there is a lot of stuff here so we have the battle group markings these little um, MDF inserts are to sit uh, where the normal dial would be uh, and to prop it up enough so you can put the battle group markings on out of the way and then all this here all these little colored segments are for your spikes and your orbital layers so if I'm correct blue is blue is silent running and then we have no spike minor spike major spike and for orbital layers we should have uh, I believe it is Black is high orbit, grey is low orbit, and then we should have a white. Or do we not have a white here? We don't seem to have a white. Ah, uh, no, I lied. There it is. There you go. So that will be the orbital layers. Um, I'm going to take a quick double check over the uh, the web page to make sure that is correct, but I'm pretty sure that is how it goes. So you have your your insert, your um, uh, battle group icon, battle group identifier, and then your spikes and your orbital layers. And what these will do, you can see it in the camera reasonably well, bring this a bit closer, is these bits will slot in there. The little holes at the top are used for the dice. So if we are on no spikes and uh, no damage and we're in high orbit it will just look like this on the base I've see, already seen somebody who has sprayed this part so this part doesn't shine through uh, doesn't shine through you can't see the MDF through but that's quite an easy done you just spray that and because uh, otherwise you would be able to see it when they had nothing on so there you go that's that um, they're all basically the same. Uh, this will just be more of the same. There are some tiny, 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 tiny dice, which are the smallest dice I think I've ever seen, but they will obviously go in there. I'll get some of the dice out from this pack, and I will, um, there should be dice in every pack, but I believe because he was running short on dice, I didn't get some in some of these groups. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I have some, sorry about my arm, 
have some ships ready to try out. So I will cut the video and I'll put a couple of bases on. I've got some big ships and small ships and we will come back and see how they look. Okay, so to quickly show you how you put all this together, it's very simple. Here is my base. You take the MDF insert, you put it in. You take the command base, the battle group identifier, and you put it in. Then you get the stem, you put the stem in. You get your ship, you put your ship on the stem. And you're kind of done. Uh, so these little markers will fit in there. Simples, finished, easy peasy. So here are my other chips I've done. Here is my Theseus with the base on. You can see this guy's in. Uh, that's uh, that's low orbit with uh, no spikes. And then the Hector, high orbit, no spikes. You see the black battle group marker as opposed to the blue one. Uh, one thing I have noticed, one thing to mention, is some of these don't really, this doesn't really move. It clicks quite um, securely onto the original base. Um, so if you were to shake it, you wouldn't, none of it would fall off. However, on this, it's very loose. Um, possibly glue them down. Uh, I think it depends upon the base itself. This one really doesn't clip in super well. Um, so in fact, it should be like that. Um, not sure why that is, not sure the best way to solve that. Again, maybe if you were to glue it down, but there you have it. So for these, let's get some stuff out of the way. Sorry about my hands keep appearing in the image. Um, so for example, if you were in the middle of the battle and I've just gone weapons through with my Hector, a thing I really enjoy doing, I would take that out and I'd put that in. This definitely looks like it's gonna be a lot easier to see um, visually, I've d definitely had it before where across the table I can't really see what my opponent's ships are at and so often you forget So this is very, a lot more visible. If it's going to be as easy to switch out during game, not sure. As with the dice, they are tiny, tiny dice and they slot in the back there. Um, as mentioned a little bit before, you can see the uh, MDF coming through, so definitely spray that so it doesn't look um, well, so it doesn't look that bad. Um, another thing that I will say is, and this is probably personal preference, I'm not super fond of the whole base being that color, um, especially when you add in the red one that I haven't got an example of. But this very, very pale blue, while it, it would look good with some people's uh, fleet schemes, I'm not sure it works super well with the yellow of my fleet. And um, I mean, again, this is just personal preference. What I would probably do is I would probably get all the black ones and then paint a section, maybe the front bit here. Paint it different for each battle group, maybe a more muted color, um, or put a line on it. Uh, you could sw switch and swap them out and have as many as you want. That's not a problem. It's just because some of the uh, some of these are that, that bright orange, and uh, to have that whole base being very bright orange, just, just not my jam, basically. Um, so yeah, this is how they are if you want to change your dice. So this might be the most fiddly bit of it. Okay, so this uh, Andromeda is take, taking free damage. And then if I wanted to, if they got him lined down, I want to change that. Take it out. Put it forward. It's, it's still not the... Especially when I'm trying not to get my hands in the way of everything. There we go. So now that's switched to four. Much better visually. Um, I'm not sure. So I'm still, as you can see, I'm still knocking the model everywhere when I try and again, try not to get my hands in all the images. There we go. That was that. That was definitely a lot easier than um, moving the normal hawk base around. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to now do a uh, little comparison between the two. I'll have one of the normal Hawk stands and one of these stands and fiddle with them and see which one's better. Um, something to mention, and I will do it now, is in order for you to get um, two of the large bases and four of the small bases, so basically what I've got here, but add in two more of the little guys, that's eight quid. 
Um, if you want to get just two of the small bases, it's £2.45. If you want to get just two of the large bases, it's £3.25. This is all pretty cheap. If um, my 1,500 point, 500 points of PHR has 10 of little guys and has six cruisers, well, one battleship, one heavy, two heavy cruisers, and three normal cruisers. So that's only going to cost me like £25. So it's not a huge amount of money. Um, obviously, that's extra on top of what you're paying, but that's your whole army, your whole fleet, I should say. Um, so yeah, not super, super expensive for what you're getting. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a little comparison, the Hawk one, these, uh, the model exchange ones, and then we'll come back. Okay, we are now back. Um, we, as you can see, my Hector and my Andromeda now have been put on back to the normal bases, and the uh, Theseus and the Europa, they are still on the uh, new command bases. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to take these two little guys. Um, we're going to put them on low orbit with major spikes. Not, not the best for these ships, but we'll do that. Um, and then, oh, and they're all going to have, they're going to have two damage. So, set them up as they are. I mean, the dial doesn't really matter too much. This guy's in, as you can see, he's in high, high. So, I'm going to switch this guy up to be in low orbit with a major spike. Uh, low orbit is grey on this, so... Take that off, take that off. Again, sorry if my hands keep getting in the way. It's not the easiest angle I'm working at. So, gray. And then we have the red one here. That's on, and then we want two damage. Get a tiny little dice. Oh, 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 and there we go. So that's that done. Now, let's take this guy and try and find it. Um, what do I want again? I want, nope. Oh, nah, that's the, that's a little bit. There you go. Low orbit, major spike. And then we want two damage, right? So. Huh. <laughs> Done. So, two damage, low orbit, major spike on both. As I said before, the, oop, the command bases are definitely stop kicking it. Are definitely more visual. Um, that is a lot harder to see than that. Um, I mean, we're looking at it really close now. But if you imagine it's over, going to be over the, the the other side of like a four foot table. Um, this is you're going to be able to see this better. Out of the two, I don't know if this was actually that much faster to switch it up. Um, maybe because it's all a little bit wobbly, and I'm trying to not get my hands in the image loads. Um, but I found that trying to change these on the and they're down on the, yeah, I can, it's a real struggle. And then I've knocked the, just knocked the damage marker off. Um, this is not to say that Hawk's stuff is bad. It's just this I would definitely suggest over it. I'll have to see how it works in game. And again, so easy to knock these models around the place. Um, yeah, so that's a comparison. I often find that I need to pick them up, the, the Hawk ones, to, to move them around and really struggle. Although this one seems not too bad. To, to move it around. It's definitely a great idea uh, to remove tokens from the game and just to have them on these bases. But so far, in my very limited use of these, the command bases from the model exchange are definitely better. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these guys and some more guys and we're gonna put them on my uh, battle battlefield and then you can see how they look across the board back after that. Okay then guys, moving on to what it like, looks like on the board itself. Over here we have the um, normal hawk bases, and then over here we have the command bases. So just to start off, if we pull back, and you can see it just about there. Um, so obviously battle group, it's very obvious to see the orange battle group and the blue battle group. There's nothing like that on the hawk bases. You can see very easily that there was a spike on uh, a minor spike on this group here and major spike on this group here uh, it's also very easy to determine what um, what all the layer everybody's at I don't know how well you can see it but the dice uh, I don't think the dice have shown up particularly well on the video uh, they are much easier to see than the so if we go over here and we move about there, you can see that that's taken three points of damage. If we come over here, 
Well, there you go, you can see quite easily that whole battle group, how much damage they've taken. Same with the, if we move around, same with the Heracles at the back. He's taken eight points. Again, he's taken three. So definitely easier to see. Um, I mean, over on the Hawk bases here, you can see that those three guys are, um, they've taken a pad of minus five they're in low orbit. I'll move around a little bit. It is visible, but um, if you consider that that, uh, so that's minor spike in low orbit, and then this is a minor spike with two of those ships in atmosphere. Definitely easy to see. Now what I'm gonna do, a little test, see if I can reach across the table and give that guy need a major spike. Have my major spike token ready. How easy it is. So I've already knocked him a little bit. There you go. He's now, he went weapons free because, you know, Ganny needs are crazy. Um, and then to do the same, using one hand on this guy. <laughs> yeah, that was also pretty easy. Um, although I think this one's a little bit stiff. Yeah, so this guy is a little bit stiff. There we go. Oh no, I wanted. To So they're not that hard to use the normal Hawk ones. And there is something to be said for the fact that you're still gonna be knocking things over when you change stuff up. <laughs> or the whole thing's gonna come off. See, that was pretty, pretty damn easy. Um, if we're going to change this little guys. Changing the damage marker, I think, is going to be difficult on all of them because if you want to grab that out, switch it up to what you want, and drop back in. I think gluing these bits, the battle group, um, the battle group sections to the bases might be necessary. At the moment, if I want this ship, if I want to switch out what layer he's on. See that moved? It moved around a little bit. If it was glued down, then that should be easier. Um, but yeah, so you can definitely see them a little bit better from across the board. Um, I'm still not sure I like the super bright orange. Uh, but, you know, personal preferences at the end of the day. I was originally thinking that I wouldn't like the red dice, but then I realized uh, actually red for damage makes sense. So see if I can change this Heracles. Yeah, just this one here. When I was pulling this out, this came up. So definitely, I think they just need to be glued. So for the Heracles, let's see if we can change its atmosphere easy. I am reaching over it, so it's a little bit difficult. Any slots. Now that would be easier than turning the dial but you're still gonna knock shit. And he's on eight damage. So if we come round. You can see, eight damage, and we'll just change him to P11. Let's see, you're still knocking a little bit, and this, this moving is a tiny bit of a problem. But yeah, so that's the kind of how easy it is to see test. Uh, from here is probably a good good perspective because when we're doing battle reports this is kind of where we we film from we do moving close but this is kind of the the angle to get like the most of the board in and from here you know the difference is night and day really you can definitely see the majors and minor spikes over on the right hand side all the groups with the command bases compared to the hawk ones but yeah that's that part so what i'm going to do do a little roundup and uh, yeah, come back at the end of that. All right then, this is the summary or um, final section of my review for the uh, commander base bases from the, the model exchange. I <laughs> have to keep looking that up. Um, and basically, I think they're really, really good. Uh, these are obviously the standard Hawk ones, the ones you get. And then these, this is what we get from the model exchange. Um, I've, tried, I've displayed a couple of extra colors. This is red, not orange. This is the white one. And then obviously, you know, minor spike, uh, 
low orbit, high orbit, major spike. Um, and this is high, high, uh, high orbit, no spike. And that's low orbit, minor spike. So actually that is the same as that. Um, again, I think there's a few issues with it. Obviously you will want to spray this. Spray it black, so when we take one of these off, you don't see the MDF coming through, the ship's got no damage. Um, I also think that for me, I'm gonna go get all the black um, battle group, you know, the top bit, the bit that decides which battle group it is. I think I'm gonna go and get a lot of black ones and then probably spray this bit, this bit right in the front. So we cover that off, just that section there. Probably spray that, the color, because I think uh, having these very, very, very bright, the whole thing bright, as opposed to most of it black, is a little bit garish, but that's 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 my opinion. Not, I mean, well, to be fair, this is all my opinion. Um, but uh, that's probably something I will do. Uh, I will also say that they they need to be glued down, which could be problematic if you are um, uh, if you're going to you're going to switch up your army list a lot. If you're going to change a lot of battle groups, um, something maybe could be done with magnets to just magnet this down. But at the moment, if you try and pull some of this up, this will move as in this section here, wheel wobble. Um, I had a little bit of the, a little bit of trouble when I was putting the dice in, I put them in on this, but this would move, and then when I tried to get it, put it back in, it was like that, so I had to redo the whole thing. Um, so there's that, which is um, slightly problematic, so I think you need to spray this, glue this down, and then you're pretty much set to go. Um, I would also say this is the low orbit one, as opposed to the um, white with black lines that are stripey um, so you could put stripes on this just so it's linked with everybody else's game so they know what they're on about um, again that's pro probably quite an easy job just putting a couple of black lines going down there um, something I only realized is you only get high orbit and low orbit for the bigger ships because they obviously can't go in atmosphere so you, the little white ones you can kind of see that's white as opposed to the grey um, they only come on the little ships which is fair enough um, so, uh, as I said earlier, it's not massively expensive to get these. Um, I think they do look better. They have a few little problems, but most of those can be resolved by you just painting and gluing, which isn't really a problem. Um, I will be using them in um, the next battle report we do. I will also be buying more of them. So, you know, both me and my opponent have a full, um, basically a full array of them. So all of our ships have them on. If you are still on the fence, I would wait to see that report and then you can kind of decide um, if it looks good, if it looks better. But yeah, as always, uh, thank you very much for watching and we hope to have more videos out for you soon.